All right, so the joint placement is now complete, and uh, or at least I should say it's good enough to start uh, skinning. One thing about joint placement is that you know I do go back and forth a lot um, to get the best results. So my first pass without skinning is really just my best, my first best guess. That's what what's going to work and what's going to look good. But that doesn't mean that I won't change it as I go. And if I do change it, uh, I will cover that as well. Um, as you, if you watch the time lapse, you might have saw that I was using a tool to place some joints. Um, that is a proprietary tool uh, of mine, but uh, M Gear is very similar. It's just a tool that kind of helps keep things aligned and just makes it easier and faster to place joints. I basically have it in components, so I have like an arm, a leg, a hand, etc. Uh, like I said, M Gear, very uh, popular um, off the shelf auto rigging tool has very similar setups. Um, so if you wanted to do something like that, but if it's your first time or you're still kind of uh, uh, inexperienced with joint placement, I would just do it manually so you can kind of see how uh, things should should go. Um, now going through some of my choices, let's start at the pelvis because that is the root of everything outside of the root. I also, yeah, it's worth talking about the root joint actually. So at least in Unreal, it is good to have a root bone that is at the origin um, and in world space. And the reason for this is that um, because uh, there's a concept of root motion, your your player capsule is going to attach to this root bone, etc. So I like to just have that always at the origin. The pelvis, um, I basically have it pretty centered inside of the hip mass. So if you look here where all these joints are converging, you'll see that that's kind of centered in, in there. Um, let me just pop this open real quick so I can, you know, if we were to kind of draw this, almost like a, a, a brief underwear uh, shape, it's kind of like in here. Um, Let's go to the spine next. We'll work our way up and then we'll go back down through the legs. So the spine I keep nice and straight and centered. The other thing about joint placement is you have to think about the animator. And if I had a bunch of angles in my spine, uh, then when I go to twist it uh, or even just rotate it, right it's gonna get kind of weird and so as in, like thinking about how an animator is gonna work with this and posing it the more neutral something can be the easier it is going to be for them to pose uh, the same thing goes with the clavicles you will notice I put the clavicles kind of up by the collarbone here and not 100% up to the mesh but definitely closer to the front than it is to the middle and the other thing you'll notice is that X is not aiming at the upper arm joint. It is actually aiming in world space. Again, because for animation, it's going to be much easier to work with these rotations than if this was tilted, especially when you start tilting it or rotating it this way, because you'd be kind of angling it like this. And it's just uh, a little bit weird. So again, working with animators uh, for about 18 years now, I just know that... Uh, I also want to keep in mind how they're going to pose something when I place joints. So not just the kind of the fundamentals that we talked about and, and the uh, anatomical, um, you know, uh, stuff, but also the usability of this for an animation uh, person. Um, hands are pretty much exactly like what I talked about in the fundamentals video. I pretty much did the exact same placements uh, that I marked out. and. On the arms and legs, you'll notice that I have some twist bones in here. So let me just go find those. I have two twist bones on each. Um, that's going to be used to handle uh, twist deformation down the chain, which we'll go over. And then I also added a shoulder pad joint so that I could be able to move and pose that if needed. Uh, the neck and head on this particular one, I'm going to try just doing a single neck bone and a head bone. The head bone I always place kind of like if you uh, go behind your ears and you feel there's like a hard bump, uh, you know, bone that's kind of like midway behind your ear. And in this way, I actually kind of place this maybe a little bit low, but again, I might go back and, and see how this goes. But I kind of start there as my placement and then kind of finagle it 
Uh, the other thing you can kind of think about is if you were to draw a skull here, you know, like maybe at the base of that, um, which is kind of what I did here. But again, this is just first pass. We'll see how things go. I did add some bones for the hair. So up here on the front side, I added uh, some chains so that I could maybe control this and then a simple chain back here. I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna tackle the hair yet when it gets to you know simulation, if I'm gonna do full cloth or joint based or some combination of the two, but uh, I'll start with this. Same thing with the cloth on the uh, waist. I put some joints in there. Uh, these are six joint chains, uh, six joint chains. So six joints in each chain. And um, again, these might be cloth. These might be rigid body uh, joint animation, or it just might be some combination of the two. We'll see what looks the best once we get it in engine. Also added some joints for these hip pads here and the belt. There's a little belt joint in here so I can move this around if needed. Right now it's just one bone, but we'll see. Maybe we want more. All right, so for the legs, again, uh, when we think about that brief shape uh, here, I'll kind of put it at the top of that brief shape. The knee, it's really easy on this model to like look at the front view and be like, oh, the knee is here because that's where the knee pad is. But if you actually look at the, the anatomical mesh, you'll see it's not. It's actually back, back here. It's above. And this is going to rotate down with the lower leg. Um, just like the arms, I also have some twist bones in here on the thigh. So the thigh twist here and here, and then calf twist here and here. Uh, and like I went through in the fundamentals video, you'll see that one uh, axis and joint orient has rotation and only the translate X. And that's pretty much everything. I didn't do any face in this one. Uh, face can be a whole other thing and we'll just see. I'll, I'll see how far I take this, but uh, I figured for now, this is pretty good to get started on the skinning. And then we can go from there and see uh, how things need to be edited as we move along, uh, what can be removed, what maybe needs to be added. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it.